Dr. Harding. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. After we lost contact, I was worried something had happened to you. We have had quite a day, Dr. Sorkin. I'll bet. Systems are down all over the damn park. Dinosaurs are running free. Bring the kids, fun for all. Hey, don't worry, kid. We're fairly geographically cut off from the rest of the island out here. Nothing but herbivores around these parts. Don't worry about What's it. What's going on here? Don't worry about there it. There were some complications. Who are you? We're the band. Uh, yeah, we're the band. Uh, where can we set up? Excuse me? I'm just kidding. InGen sent us. We're the cavalry come to the rescue. I'm Billy Yoder. This is Look, let's just get this out of the way. I'm not going anywhere. This part of the island is pretty remote and there's a long way from the predators. I'm perfectly safe and I don't need saving. Great. That's not a good idea, man. But, since you're here, what you can do is start loading the stacks of bureaucratic in-gen paperwork that's taking up valuable space. They were supposed to have sent for that stuff months ago. Listen, lady, we don't have time for this. You either get in the helicopter peacefully, or I will personally knock you out, put you in cuffs, and throw you in! You lay one hand on me, and I will have you so ass-deep in litigation that you'll be reading legal text for a decade. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? If it'll help us get off this island faster, we'll move your boxes. Where are they? Over there, at the loading dock. You are the lady. Hey, can I help? Fuck no. Sorry, hon. This ain't a job for little girls. Look how skinny you are, anyhow. Don't you drink milk? Oh, I thought you guys were a rescue team. Then I guess you're just here for manual labor. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. We're highly trained soldiers for hire here. We're loading this stuff up as a courtesy. Do they teach you to live with your legs in mercenary school? Or do you bring a dolly with you on rescue missions? She always burns me <laughs> every oh, time. you're a smart-ass kid, aren't you? No matter what I, I choose. I also like football and hate shopping, but I still can't find a boyfriend. <laughs> well, then there's obviously something wrong with you. I can't tell if there's thunder going on outside or if it's Are in the Are you serious? What? I'm taking a break. Good idea. Don't want you to strain yourself. So okay, what's the yeah, deal? It's going from the game. Why didn't you tell Dr. Sarkin why it's so important to get off this island? Trust me, if we bully that one, she's gonna cause problems. Because you so can't argue with a girl. You never so win. Charmer. Look, all I need to do is get some information on this woman. Dig into her past. Find out what makes her tick. I'm sure if I say enough of the right things, she'll practically think getting off the island was her idea in the first place. Hey, can I bum one of those? No! Jesus. Okay. Stop being a bad person. So, who feels like carrying these boxes back to the helicopter? Me neither. I keep taking off my headphones because I keep literally thinking it's thunder. So I'm like, ah, oh, it's getting louder. Hey, Oscar, was there any dirt on Dr. Sorkin in the mission briefing? If I'm going to have to use the old Yoda charm, I'll need some intel. Big time protester in the 70s. Lots of animal rights crap. Handful of arrests for it. All of her engine-related history is classified. Said to expect her to be a pain in the ass. It said that? Between the lines. Wait here. I'm gonna go talk to Sorkin. Uh, what should I do? You wanna help? See if you can dig up anything interesting on our friend Dr. Sorkin in those file boxes. Cool. What was Hammond thinking? The man continually ignored the warnings of his own scientists over marketing people, shareholders, everyone. A disaster like this was inevitable. If you're in some kind of trouble, you I hate to interrupt, ma'am, but I really think we need to be going. I'm afraid I can't, Mr. Yoder. Someone needs to tend to the dinosaurs during this disaster. I'm sorry, Dr. Sorkin, but InGen wants all survivors back on the mainland as soon as possible. No exceptions. Why can't it wait? Okay guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, I had to skip a T-Rex scene because apparently the game will not let me load to a certain spot, so I have to keep pulling out scenarios from the chapter until we reach to where I last left off. So, 
apologies. I'll tell you what happens. We encounter a T-Rex. We're about to take off. Decaf. The pilot's gone. He's dead. That's the story. Because just in case if anyone was wondering, someone needs to speak to the board about protecting these dinosaurs. You believe in animal rights, don't you? Wouldn't you put your neck on the line for them? Huh. You have a point. But as long as John Hammond is in charge, the animals are going to need me here to ensure that they're treated with respect. What kind of respect? Is you put them behind I can cages. Say to convince you to come with you us. You give them food. If there is, you give them yeah, water. It's right. like, no, not the cages. Sorry. Why would you do this? You give us food. You give us water. And you put us behind cages. What kind of respect are you teaching me here? <laughs> So, what'd you find out? Looks like Dr. Sorkin wanted to turn this place into a dinosaur preserve instead of an amusement park. And NGN didn't go for it, huh? Why would they? There's no money in that. So Dr. Sorkin has a weakness for preserving wildlife. Good to know. Oh, yep, and I'm gonna go talk to her again. Bye, guys. I can't tell you how many times I tried convincing him. The park should be a nature preserve. No theme park attractions, no cages. Hammond never really cared about the marvels I created for him. It's always been about the money. You're angry and scared. Dr. Sorkin. As I told you, I'm staying behind to watch after the animals. I'm sorry, but we really need to get you out of here. Why? Because we have to. Wouldn't this place be better off as some kind of dinosaur preserve? I mean... It's kind of stupid to treat these creatures like they're in some kind of circus, right? Well, obviously that's true. But as long as John Hammond is in charge, the animals are going to need me here to ensure that they're treated with respect. You just said the same thing again. Listen, Hammond really made a mess of this place. You have no idea. There's no hiding his incompetence after this disaster. You're absolutely right, Mr. Yoder. But none of this matters if the board of directors... I'm not supposed to say this, but... I heard the board is going to hold an emergency meeting about, you know, new leadership. If you were there, you could act as a witness to the events that took place here. They'd have to listen to you. That's true. I hate to admit it, Mr. Yoder. But perhaps you're right. And our orders also mention an assistant? David. My dad. Yes. I'm afraid David Daddy. won't be coming back with us. No. He told him to stay away from the quarantine. Oh, Dr. Hence. Sorkin, I'm, I'm so sorry. Thank Darn you. What are you now, come before we go, I have some time. work in the lab that must be completed first. Dr. Harding, perhaps you and your daughter would like to assist me. I've been working on a cure for one of our dinosaurs' nastier genetic disorders. Oh? Which one? It's dietary. Right up your alley. Dr. Harding, we've done it. And what exactly have we done? Reverse the lysine contingency, of course. Wait, what? what's that? InGen, Henry Wu, added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, they'll all die off. You cannot give that to the dinosaurs. They need to be contained. If any of them get off the island... Okay, listen. I've been working with the Parasaurs Behavioral Program for months now. If I go back to the mainland to fight for this place, they'll all be dead before I can get back, along with all of my research. Parasaurs? Parasaurolophus. They're herbivores, generally say. Let me give the solution to them, to see if it even works. How many are we talking about? Why don't you come out with me? See how much progress we've made with them. Can we, Dad? Fine. We'll go. Cool. I'm glad to finally have you out here, Dr. Harding, despite the circumstances. We've been doing some very interesting work with our parasaurs. Behavioral communication experiments. You've interpreted their calls. Some of them. And I plan to use that to get them out of the pen. Out? Well, I'm not going to treat their water with them still in there. 
How do we know there aren't any bad dinosaurs around? Well, believe it or not, the dinosaurs told me. See that one? She's the lookout. She'll stand guard while the others graze. If there were any predators in the vicinity, she'd be nervous and emitting a danger call. But she's not. She's calm. Jerry, you can activate the speakers from there. Jess and I will set the various parasaur sounds that play through them. Dad, it's okay. I mean, it's safe, right? The Parasaurs will warn us of trouble before it gets close. Obviously, you keep repeating that. Stay with Dr. Obviously, Shorten. something's gonna happen. Gosh, Telltale, with your hints. You're hurting my head. I wonder if there's a diner or two that didn't hear that. So, what do we do? We can't just shoo the animals out, but we should be able to manipulate them into moving using their own sounds. Cool. These speakers on the west side of the pen can be set to play a parasaur food call that will attract the hungry dinos. The speakers on the east control the mating sounds that will attract the more, uh, amorous dinosaur. What about the big set of speakers in the middle of the pen? Ah, those emit the danger call. The parasaurs will instinctively move away from it. So basically, we can herd the dinosaurs out of this pen using the speakers and their sounds. Yes, and you will not help me at all in this situation. How do I turn on the speakers? I'll have to tell your dad to do it when we're ready. Why does she keep saying, how do I turn it on? It's like, you're not turning on jack crap, okay? I'm turning them on. You can shut your little mouth. Dr. Harding? Yeah? I need you to activate the east side speakers, please. East side, okay. She's like, where's my mate? She's not here. Or he, or... Well, they're all she, so... Where's my mate? So, what happened to your assistant? Let's not talk about that right now. He's on the toilet. Did you work with him long? It doesn't matter. Oh. Listen, he was a wonderful young man, and I am sad. I really am. But if I let that stop my work, then all these animals will die too, trapped behind the walls that we built. Do you understand? Oh, Dr. Harding. Dr. Harding? Yeah? Oh, that sounded wrong when I said that. West side oh, speakers, Dr. Harding. please. <laughs> okay. I heard you were like a hippie protester or something in the 70s. Where'd you hear that? From Yoder. The 70s were a tumultuous time. I fought for what I believed in, and sometimes it gets you arrested. You were arrested? And you still got a job as a, you know, scientist? Yeah, and a job at a Paleogeneticist. And yes, youth is the time to be reckless and test your boundaries. It's how you learn what's important to you. Dr. Harding? Yeah? Yeah? Activate the danger speakers. That's it. They're out. Good job, Jess. Jess didn't Finally. do anything. Go forth and multiply. <laughs> You're pretty good at this. Jess Maybe you'll didn't be a behavioral scientist someday. Maybe I will. You didn't do anything. Okay. Shut up. Aww. Ah, this is why she was elected to be the lookout. What's wrong with her foot? It's a broken toe. Feel free to have a look. A I just have to do one more thing, thing and then we can leave. Lysine. If the dinosaurs are have a fighting chance, they'll need the solution to survive. I'm still not sure. Jerry, this is my life's work. These are basically my children. Basically your children. I'm not gonna let these creatures die because some bureaucrat can't stand losing you. control. They deserve their own lives. Just 